Thank you, Brittany. Row crews are already one step ahead of the storm that's headed our way. Two News reporter Dan Perlman continues our team coverage. He explains how crews were ready to go days in advance. Marla, I want you to go ahead and take a look at these massive piles behind me, and you can see just how much sand and salt the city of Tulsa has to treat the roads. As for this storm, much of the work out here has already been done. Right now we've got all our trucks loaded, machinery's all fueled up, and we got personnel on standby. That's the word from the city of Tulsa. We continue to watch the weather like everyone else, and if we see that it's starting to come in, we're getting closer that we need to start reporting, then we will start calling all employees. More than 100 employees will man these 62 trucks, and it doesn't matter that this could come on Christmas. We've worked several of them before in the past, and uh, we'll continue working them in the future. For crews with the Oklahoma Department of Transportation, working the holiday isn't unheard of either. We're ready. The guys are going to uh, stay with their families as long as they can for Christmas Day, but when it's when they get the phone call, we'll, we'll be there. Just like the city, they've already gotten the trucks prepared, and there are plenty of supplies. We've got about 8,000 ton of uh, salt and about uh, 10,000 ton of sand on hand. That's not including all of the salt left over from last year. We've got about 10,000 tons still sitting at the port for. Uh, future storms. So now we wait and the question is on drivers. Are you going to be driving on Christmas Day? Yes, I am. I have to go to my mom's. The crews know many people will have similar answers. Their response? If you don't have to be out, please don't. And if you see the trucks. Stay back, you know, give the, the employees some room to work and then that way they can do their job and also get you home safely if you're out. One more thing that these road crews will also keep an eye on is the ground temperature. Right now they say it's still pretty warm, but of course, as it gets colder, that could change. In West Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.